This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. don't want to get involved, Russia. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white asses like you, little brother. What are you leading me into, Veska? No, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. Well, if it isn't Veska, fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Out of my way, fat man, or your next meal is my sword. <laughs> I like this one. How does he even walk with that pair between his legs? Amaya will decide what to do with you. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! want something pretty bad to risk coming in here so out with it before I decide not to let you leave wait 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 I'm with her your friend Beska said you two were all partners your friend made a big mistake Amaya please please what I had a friend once the basilisk but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. Leave her alone. I don't care what your history is. Beska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs>
My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. Fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? You? <laughs> His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. Hey! I need those! We'll fight with the weapons we give you. He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. <laughs> oh. It's not what I meant. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. No weapon worthy of blood song. You won't be so lucky this time. Hate to tell you, but that wasn't luck. <laughs> Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt. Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? 
We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. <laughs> Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, little boy. Come from. We don't kill people for sport. The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. I offer you all a new life. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocents and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Killed!
Finn! He was over there! Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! But we need to stick together! You're right about this, Garrett. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. No, Your Grace. No? I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have in the past, but I won't anymore. You're a clever girl, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. 
and I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher, iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me get you. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. Well, thank you, but I'd rather not. You go ahead. Nonsense. I insist. Cheers. So, why are you here? Hmm, it's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Cersei. <clears throat> I have to admit, 
I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, clearly. Which is why you're here. Doing her bidding. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust.